So Proposition 26 says that if you have two triangles that have two equal angles, respectively, and also a line equal, respectively, either the line between the two equal angles or a line across from one of the equal angles, then the two triangles will be equal. So we'll start with triangles A, B, C, and triangles D, E, F. Okay. So we're going to say that angle A, B, C equals angle D, E, F. We're going to say that angle B, C, A equals angle EFD. And in this first example, we're going to say that the line between the two equal angles is equal. So that line BC equals line EF. So that is our given. And with this, we're going to say that ABC and DEF are equal. And if they're not, let's say, for instance, line AB is greater than line DE. So we'll cut off AB at G so that BG is now equal to DE. And they'll connect G to C so that we have a new triangle GBC equal to the triangle DEF. Um, and we can say they're equal because they have the line GB, the angle GBC, and the line BC equal to the line DE, the angle DEF, and the line EF. We learned that if triangles have side angle side equal in Proposition 4, then both triangles are equal. However, this is impossible because um, we already know that angle BCA and angle EFD are equal because that was in our given. But now we're saying that angle BCG and angle EFD are given. And because both of those equalities have EFD in them, we can say that BCG is equal to angle BCA. However, this is impossible because, as you can see, angle BCG is a part of angle BCA, and therefore they cannot be equal. So because of that, we know that BG and ED cannot be equal. And instead, BA and ED must be equal. And just as before, we can say, because of side angle side, that triangle ABC and DEF are equal. So that was our first case where we proved that when you have an angle, a side, and then an angle equal to two triangles, then the two triangles are, are equal. Um, and now we'll do it again. Except this time, The sides are going to be equal or can be opposite one of the angles rather than between them. So we'll say that AB and DE are equal in this case. Now I say that these two triangles are equal. If not, let's say that, for instance, the line BC is greater than the line EF. We'll cut off BC at H such that BH is equal to EF. And then we'll connect H to A so that we have the new triangle ABH, which is equal to triangle DEF, again because of side, angle, side being equal. However, this is impossible because as we learned in Proposition 16 of Book 1, the exterior angle BHA cannot be equal to the interior opposite angle BCA. Um, and we know that, as before, BC and BCA and EFA are equal, and now BHA and EFA are equal. So that BC and BH have to be equal, but as we just said, they can't be. Therefore, BH cannot be equal to EF, but must, therefore, be equal to BC. 
So now I know that B, C, and E, F are equal. And because of that, we can look again at A, B, angle A, B, C, and line B, C, line D, E, angle D, E, F, and line E, F, and say that triangle A, B, C, and triangle D, E, F are equal.